moving on to the next problem. Using Kripschaft's rules, calculate the potential difference between B and D in the circuit diagram as shown in the figure. Again, read the problem. Using Kripschaft's rules, calculate the potential difference between B and D in the circuit diagram as shown in the figure. So, here they are given the diagram, this is a diagram they are given, right? And and what are the points? Here the points uh, A, B, C and D. So these are the points we have A, B, C and D. Okay. Now they are asking what is the potential difference between B and D, right? Right. And First of all, if you are given this kind of problems, we should analysis first. Here we have 1 volt battery that has 1 ohm internal resistance, it has 2 volt battery, 2 ohm resistance. And here 3 volt battery, 3 ohm resistance and here we have 1 volt battery and 1 ohm resistance. These are connected in series, right? right? 3 volt battery is connected with 1 volt battery but the pass through terminal is negative with pass through terminal. So, it should be subtracted. So, 3 volt minus 1 volt, 2 volt and this uh, internal resistance has 3 ohm, this has internal resistance 1 ohm. So, which is connected in series therefore, 3 plus 1, 4 ohm, right. So, it will becomes 2 volt and 4 ohm and similarly, this uh, 1, 1 volt plus 1 volt here we have 2 volt pass to terminal is connected with other side of the pass to terminal therefore, 2 volt minus 1 volt that will give 1 volt. And here we have 1 ohm, here we have 2 ohm. So, uh, which is connected in series plus 1 plus 1, 1 plus 2, 3 ohms it will give, right. So, here the diagram. So, I draw this battery, right, plus minus, which has 1 volt because of this is 1 volt, this is 2 volt, which is connected in the same polarity. Therefore, it should be subtracted, therefore, 1 volt. And the resistance becomes. Uh, yeah, 3 ohm because it is 1 ohm, this is 2 ohm which is connected series therefore, it becomes 3 ohm. And here we have 2 ohm, right. So, I draw here this 2 ohm and here 3 volt minus 1 volt that will give 2 volt, 3 ohm plus 1 ohm that will give 4 ohm which is connected in series, right, ok. Compare this is 1 volt, this is 2 volt. So, the current will flow here I taken as I2 and goes like that, yes, here it will go that time ok and here we have the battery 1 volt that will goes from positive terminal to negative terminal right. So, here I have taken as I 1, here I have taken as I 2. So, when come back to here I 1 will flow this direction, I 2 will go this direction. So, both are in opposite direction which one have more voltage this one right. So, I can write I 2 minus I 1. So, the I 2 minus I 1 current will flow from this direction right and here I 1 current and this goes to the negative terminal of the 1 volt battery, right. And here also I 2 current will pass and the pass and reaches negative terminal of the 2 volt battery, right. And here I am, this is uh, loop 2, this is loop 1, I am considering this is loop 2, this is loop 1, both are I am taking as in anti-clockwise direction, right, not clockwise direction. If you want your wish, you can take it as in uh, anti-clockwise manner also, right. Now, in the first loop, where the first loop? This one, right? Yes. So, we need to apply KVL rule. So, 2 volt that is here, right? And 4 into I2, 4 into I2 because I am taking us in the anti clockwise direction. Assume the current and the flow of current both are in same direction. So, it should be plus. And here, here also the same, right? It flow in the same direction. So, I2 minus I1 into 2 into I2 minus I1 is equal to 2. So, just multiply this term 2 into I2 minus 2 I1 that I wrote is equal to 2. So, 4 I2 plus 2 I2 minus 2 I1 is equal to 2. So, 4 I2 plus 2 I2 that will give 6 I2. So, 6 I2 minus 2 I1 is equal to 2. So, divide this equation by throughout by 2. So, it will give 3 I2 minus I1 is equal to 1. This is for first loop. Similarly, we should go for second loop. So, in that second loop what is the EMF we have 1 volt. So, here I wrote 1, right. The flow of direction in that direction and assume the current also in the anti-clockwise direction, right. Here we have 2 ohm I2 minus I1. So, ah, yes, 2 ohm 
i2 minus i1. So, what is the flow of i2 minus i1? Just opposite to the assumed current, right? Therefore, minus 2 into i2 minus i1 plus assumed current and the flow of current in 3 ohm is same direction. Therefore, plus 3 i1 is equal to 1. So, multiply this term minus 2 i2 minus into minus plus 2 i1 plus 3 i1 is equal to 1. 2 i1 plus 3 i1 phi i1. So, minus 2 i2 plus phi i1 is equal to 1. Therefore, I can write phi i1 minus 2 i2 is equal to 1. This is the equation number 2. And we need to solve both the equation, equation number 1 and 2, then we will get i1 value and i2 value, right? Yeah. Here we have equation number 1, that is minus i1 plus 3 i2 is equal to 1. Equation number 2 is phi i1 minus 2 i2 is equal to 1. Now, we want to multiply with some constant value and then we should calculate i1, right? So, what I am going to do, equation number 1 is multiply by 5. Therefore, phi should be multiplied by entire by this equation. So, minus phi i1 plus 15 i2 is equal to 5. And second equation I, I am taken as, as, as usual. So, phi i1 minus 2 i2 is equal to 1, right? Here we have minus phi i1, here we have plus phi i1. So, no need to change of, of sign. So, directly we can cancel over this one. So, 15 minus 2 that will give 13 i2 and phi plus 1 that will give 6. From that we can take i2 is equal to 16 by 13 ampere. The current flow in the i2 is 16 by 13 ampere. Substitute this equation number 2, okay. Substitute the equation number 3 in 2 or if you want your choice you can substitute in 1 also. Here I did for in 2. So, what is the equation number 3? i2 is equal to 16 by 3. What is equation number 2? Uh, phi i1 minus 2 i2 is equal to 1. So, here I wrote phi i1 minus 2 i2 instead of i2 what is the value 16 by 13 which is equal to 1. So, 2 into 6 12. So, 12 by 13 here we have phi i1 minus 12 by 13 is equal to 1 and this minus 12 by 13 should goes to this side that will become 12 by plus 12 by 13 and take LCM that will give 13 plus 12 whole divided by 13 and the LHS remains same phi i1 and 13 plus 12 that will give 25, 25 by 13 that is equal to phi i1 and i1 is equal to 25 and this phi should be come to denominator of right hand side. So, 25 divided by phi into 13 cancel over this phi and 25 that becomes phi by 13. This is the current passing through in i1. So, i1 carries phi by 13 ampere and in the diagram we have i2 minus i1 right between which pass through 2 ohm current. So, i2 minus i1 is equal to so we found the value of i2 here and i1 substitute here 16 by 13 minus 5 by 13 that is equal to 1 by 13 ampere which is the current flow through that the point BD. What they are asking what is the potential drop across the 2 ohm resistance. So the voltage across 2 ohm resistor is we can write V is equal to IR. So 2 ohm is for our reference we are I, I wrote V suffix 2 ohm is equal to I into R. So what is the I value 1 by 13 right. So instead of I, I wrote 1 by 13 what is the R value 2 ohm. So 2 into 1 by 13 that will give 2 by 13 volt. So that is the, the voltage drop across BD, the point BD. I hope you understand well. So similarly we have different different problems which are applying in Richard's rules.